what's good guys welcome back to ron's rise news welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where we just had the reveal of the 2022 volkswagen tiles it has been revealed and it is here this is what we have to talk about more space a slight increase in size and volkswagen wants to keep the customers happy so here's how they do it now we have to mourn the loss of the volkswagen golf the german manufacturer is surging on with a don't call it a replacement replacement the 2022 volkswagen tiles vw would rather say we don't think of the tiles as a golf successor but even the automaker reps say there will be a lot of overlap in the use of the case. But more importantly, the Tiles expands the reach of VW crossover lineup. The Tiles should arrive around the Golf's price of $23,195. And this crossover should be a win for consumers, even though it lacks the compact hatchback charm of the Golf. Now the MQB based Tiles size feels just right for consumers. It splits the difference between the outgoing 167.6 inch golf hatchback and at 175.8 inches in length and riding a top at 105.9 inch in the wheelbase. Now what does this mess of numbers mean? Well it means the Tiles is bigger than the golf but should be nearly as easy to you know place on the road with your average compact. It's 9.3 inches shorter than VW's compact Jetta after all. Now that increased size is a boon to cabin space. I mean, there's 99.5 cubic feet for passengers and 28.1 cubic feet in the cargo area with the rear seats in place. Both figures eclipse the Golf's 93.5 and 22.8 and the Jetta's 94.7 and 14.1. Now the design both inside and out is familiar. The light up strip that connects the headlights with the badge and the grille is bold and the details of the headlights feature shades of the Artreon. A cute side grille is Atlas like while the profile is clean and unfussy. You could probably guess that Volkswagen did it this way to leave the door open for a cross sport trim. Now the cabin is less modern than the redesigned Golf or the incoming GTI, but the digital instrument cluster at eight inches for the touchscreen make a clean aesthetic. You also get expansive sections of shiny plastic on the dash, although the seat upholstery looks neat and premium. And judging by the images, there's ample second row legroom too. And while the Volkswagen Senior Vice President of Product Marketing said that he believes that the American customer wants a well-equipped car, the company isn't really giving stuff away. For example, all the active safety gear like automatic emergency braking, AEB, is optional. And the optional IQ drive safety suite is comprehensive at the least, featuring four collision warning with automatic emergency braking, blind spot monitoring, lane keep assist, full speed adaptive cruise control, and automatic high beams. Now provided, the Tiles undercuts pricey arrivals and VW avoids charging an arm and a leg for the IQ drive. The lack of standard safety equipment may end up as a small shortcoming instead of a glaring one. Now, disappointments aside, there's some exciting gear on this compact CUV. Volkswagen confirmed that its digital cockpit system is available on certain trims, replacing the physical instrument cluster dials and a reconfigurable 12.3 inch display. On top of that, the tiles can function as a Wi-Fi hotspot and is available with a wireless charge pad. All but the base model will feature an eight inch touchscreen and the latest MIB3 infotainment software. Now, like the Golf, the Tiles relies on a standard turbocharged four-cylinder engine. The new 1.5-liter unit packs 158 horsepower and 184 pound-feet of torque. Now, VW hasn't really revealed the Tiles' weight, but those figures outdo the 141-horsepower Nissan Rogue Sport. Even with the help of the turbocharger, though the 1.5-liter four-cylinder can't hold a candle to larger engines in the Jeep Compass and in the new Hyundai Tucson. Now, the Tiles turbocharged engine works alongside one of two gearboxes, depending on where the power output goes. Front drive models feature an 8-speed automatic, while the 4-motion all-wheel drive partners with the 7-speed dual-clutch transmission. Fuel economy figures aren't available yet. Although the 1.5 liters total output is similar to the Jetta's turbocharged 1.4 liter, I probably don't expect any big change from that model's EPA either for the fuel economy ratings of 30 miles per gallon city and 40 highway with 34 combined. Now, while Volkswagen is still months away from announcing pricing, you probably expect that 21,000, 23,000 to start and probably roughly 30,000 for the newest CUV in the dealerships for summer of 2021. But what do you guys think about the new tires? Is it really a golf replacement? Is there really anything that could replace the Volkswagen Golf? 
Let's talk about that in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up, helps get it up in the rankings. More people can see it, and we could talk about this 2022 Volkswagen Tiles, the golf replacement. With that said, if you guys want to help support the channel, you can check the links down below in my description. I have a one-time link donation from my PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo. In case you guys want to donate a couple extra dollars to the channel, you can also check out my Patreon subscription, be a monthly subscriber, or check out the Ron's Rise merch. We get long sleeve shirts, hoodies, you can get stickers, coffee mugs, everything Ron's Rise. Check that out as well. You can also follow me on social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, see everything I'm posting, car memes, pictures, and videos that doesn't always make it here to the channel. Now, make sure you guys subscribe, but after you subscribe, click the notification bell so you can get these videos straight to your inbox. As soon as they come out, you don't miss one video. Now, with that said, you guys be blessed. Have a great day. We will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise News video. Peace.